Hello. Hello and welcome to this video on splay trees. Splay trees is a self balancing bandy tree invented by Daniel Slater and Robert Tarjan in 1985. So uh, essentially it is a bandy search tree and it has one property that the recently accessed elements are at the top. So they are quick to access again. The insertion, lookup and removal complexity, time complexity is O log n in amortized time. The worst case in asymptotic complexity can be O of n. So that is a bad side. However, for random access patterns drawn from a non-uniform random distribution, their amortized time can be faster than logarithmic proportional to the entropy of the excess pattern. For many patterns of non-random operations also, split trees can take better than logarithmic time without requiring advanced knowledge of the pattern. So, what is the advantage of uh, split tree or before that, there is only one basic operation which is called splaying is required to convert a binary tree, binary search tree into a splay tree. So you combine the operation splay with the operations like insert, insertion, search, deletion and then your binary search tree is converted into a splay tree. Of course, we will need rotations which we have studied. So what is play or splaying? Splaying is uh, a method by which we bring the element in question to the top of the tree. So it can take several rotations and it can be quite complex also. And because of splaying, what can happen is that uh, the tree can become skewed. For example, if we search for elements in non-decreasing order, then what will happen is, so suppose we search for the largest element or smallest element, then the smallest element goes to the top and then we search for the next smallest element. So the smallest element will typically go to the left side. So it can become skewed if you access in a certain order. That is the downside of split tree. However, there are variations which can be used to handle such skewed access. Now, advantage is that uh, good performance, that is uh, the frequently accessed nodes will be nearer to roots and uh, the high frequency uses as practical applications like uh, it is it can be useful for caching or garbage collection algorithms and its average case performance is as efficient as other trees and memory footprint is small because it does not need any bookkeeping data disadvantage we have already discussed the skewing of the tree so this wikipedia article is quite detailed here we have splaying, we will see the code and try to see what actually goes on. However, the steps are given here. So one is jig step. This is entirety of a uh, splay tree. So P is root here. This node is root and the tree is rotated on the edge between X and P. So X is here, P is here and these are now nodes. So if you want to rotate about X, then X becomes the root and P becomes the right child and BC becomes the children of P and A becomes child of X. So similarly, you have jig jag step or jag jig step, jig jig step or jig jag step. So you can read about this. And uh, there is an implementation given here in C++, which we won't use. We will do our own implementation. 
So there are quite a few variations uh, of plate re given uh, towards the bottom. So one is called semi spline, in which element is played only halfway towards the root. The other is uh, full spline, but only in some of the excess operations, only when the excess path is longer than a threshold or only in the first time excess operations. Then there is CB tree, which augments the split tree with excess counts at each node and use them to restructure infrequently. A variant of the CB tree called the lazy CB tree does at most one rotation on each cup. This is used along with an optimistic handover hand validation scheme to make a concurrent self-adjusting tree. So these are variations and there are pointer compression techniques which you can read uh, in the 16th bibliography. You can make a very good split tree. So there is quite a bit of uh, mathematics here which you can read. We will not go into detail of those. So let's see the code. So one of the things is that there are quite a few uh, functions here. One is new sp3, it creates a new tree. Then we have insertion, search, deletion, and uh, this is the implementation of new sp3. Splay, splay left, splay right, sp3 insert, sp3 search, and sp3 remove implementation. These are the implementation. Here it is prototype. Then we have some uh, helper functions. sp3 is empty, is sp3, is sp subtree, is sp3. And then we have two helper functions. So for this example, we have a structure called sp node which has elements of wide pointer data. For a change, I thought that it will be nice to do a genetic implementation which can handle any kind of data. It has a left child, a right child, like a binary search tree, and it is typed as to sp node. And sp tree is another structure which has a root pointer. It points to root and a comparative function which takes to wide pointer elements. Now if you see here, our structure which will be pointed to by these wide pointers is my data. It has a simple int key. So if you see the comparator function comp, it takes two void pointers, asks them to my data and uh, compares the key. So key is integer and if first key is less than second key then minus one, it returns minus one. If it is greater, it returns plus one. Otherwise, it returns zero. So it is very simple. You can have other types of uh, structure also. Uh, for example, you can compare strings also and adjust the comparator function. So first, uh, we will look at insertion of uh, a node. Okay. So suppose our uh, first we create a new SP tree. So new SP tree implementation is here. Now initially, uh, if you look at main function, then initially the tree calls new SP tree. So it returns a comparator. If you see main, it returns a comparator, our comparator function. And we have new SP tree. So this is the signature of the comparator function and uh, we have here so we have an assertion that our comparator function should not be null and then we create sp3 here if t is null then it is an error and uh, it could not uh, allocate memory if t is not null then we make the root node null and comparator uh, assign comparator function to our comparator and we return the tree now, once the tree is created, you would like to insert some nodes. So here we have some insertion uh, algorithms. Suppose we want to insert four. So in that case, we will get three, which will have a root node and a wide pointer data. So in how this will work out is 
So first it tests the speed tree, it's empty or not. And then you malloc size of data, my data, and assign the integer to key, the key uh, member of data, and then you pass the data, and then you do the insertion. So here we have data. Now, suppose we want to insert four. So in the beginning, three root would be null. Okay. So we allocate memory for it and uh, we assign the data elements to root left and right to null and then we return null from here. So this is where this ends. Four is now inserted. Now suppose after four we want to insert two. So in that case what will happen is t root won't be null anymore. Okay. Now since t root is not null anymore we will call play. So we go to play. Now I would like to, uh, it's simple so I'll uh, try to explain. So we have received the tree node, we have data, data contains two, tree has root node which contains four. So we have some variables root, left, right, node and temp and comparator uh, result. So we won't be null, data won't be null, we set root right and root left to null. Root is some garbage uh, node at this moment and left and right point to root that is they have the same address. Now we take the node and we point it to the root of the tree. Now if node is null we return okay but it won't be null because we have four at that place. So now we compare the data with node. Now what will happen is our data is 2 and node is 4. So this will be less than 0. So it will be less than 0. So in that case we will check node left. So we have only one element at node that is 4 which so left would be null it will break out of the loop. Once it is broken out of the loop our left right that is the root element the garbage element right would be node left that is null and the roots left node the garbage node will be null as well and then our node left would be root right so essentially this is also null this is also null so there will be no chain and tree root is node so after this play operation tree root will be same same as node okay there is no change 4 remains the uh, root of the node because it's the only element. So we go back to insert, we splayed it and now our old root is tree root. So old root will point to 4. Old root is not equal to null so we do comparison. Data is 2, old root data is 4. So our comparator function will return minus 1. So it is not 0. And then we allocate a node for tree root. And uh, then what we do is, uh, if this is null, we point tree root to old root. If it is not null, that is memory allocation has been successful, we point tree root data to data, that is 2. Old root pointing to 4 and tree root pointing to 2. Now in this case, what will happen is that uh, our comparator is 0, so else will be hit. And then tree root right will be old root. That means now 2 is the root node and 4 is its right child. Okay. And the left of the tree root would be old roots left. Now old roots left is null. So it will become null. And then the old root will be left will be null. That means it becomes null. So essentially this will go on repeating. So if for example I have some visualization. I have copied some of the code which you can see here what we have discussed. So in the beginning 4 and old root left node right how they point. It is not step by step but it will help you visualize that what is going on. Now to further uh, elaborate this let's try to insert another element 3. So in this case again what will happen is now the root node is as shown in the diagram is 2 and right child is 4. Now suppose we want to insert 3. 
So in first case, we inserted something which was smaller than the root node, 2 is smaller than 4. So now we would insert something which is greater than 2, that is 3. We are going to insert 3. So see, let's see what happens. We go to insert, 3 root is not null. So it won't enter here. Let me go to splay. Let's see what happens in splay. So this will go on happening and node will now point to 2 and comparator will compare data 3 with 2, node data is 2. So 3 is greater than 2, so it will return plus 1. So comparator is not less than 0, it is greater than 0. So in this case, it will look at node right, that is it will look at 4, node right is 4. So, it is not null. So, it will come here. Now, it will compare node write data with data. So, this data is 3, but this is 4. So, that means it will be less than 1. So, it won't enter this loop also. So, it will come here. Now, it will look at the garbage root node. And uh, what it will do is, this left is essentially root. Okay. We are still doing the first iteration left is essentially root. So our garbage root node right child would be the node that is 2 and then left will also point to the same node that is 2. Left is 2 and roots right child is 2 and then node will move on to the right node that is 4. Now node has become 4 and data is 3. So again it will compare 3 with 4. So this is less than 0 so it will come here. Okay, now force left child is null, so it will break out of the loop. Now it will come here. So our left node was pointing to 2. So 2's right child will be node's left, that is null. And then right was pointing uh, to root, so root's left child would be essentially null. It does not matter, we are not going to use this right. This is essentially making roots left null and this is making uh, nodes that is four nodes right child to null. Force right child is null and this is roots left child is now null and then nodes left would be root right. Okay, So node is at this moment four. So force left would be uh, um, I'm confused now. Okay, let's do it again. So we had three. So where the three would be assigned is okay, three is not assigned here. So essentially, what will happen is this is how it will look like. Uh, let me do it again. Okay, so this is essentially root at this moment, roots left, right would be null, uh, will be two, and left will become two also roots right and left both will point to right node will become 4 here node will point move to right and then we break out of the loop and now left right is null so left at this moment is 2 so 2's left child will be null and right which is essentially root its left will be nodes right that is null so roots uh, left will be null as well. This is the root node, its left will be null here. And then node left will be root right. So, fourth left child will become 2. And node right will be root left. But root left, if you see here, is null. So, this will be null. And then the tree root will be the new node. So, fourth uh, would be the new root. So essentially, 4 will become left child of, uh, 2 will become left child of 4 after this operation. And then we will go back to insert and splay is done. Now old root will point to 3 root. That is, it will point to 4 here and 2 is now left child. And then it will see that old root is not null. So it will send it for comparison. So this will be a comparison between 3 and uh, 
4. Okay. 3 root uh, was reassigned. Okay. So 3 and 4 comparison will happen. And in this case, again, comparator will be less. So again, 3 root right will be the old root. So 3 is right tail will become 4. And 3 is root left will be old root left, which would be null. So uh, we will have this structure here, 3, 4, 2. So th that's how it plays here. Some of the code is written here also. I wrote it to explain, but didn't use it. So this is how play and uh, sp3 insert will work. Now, once you have gone through this, and there are more complex cases here when the tree grows bigger. So what I would advise is you take pen and paper and draw the diagram of this uh, step by step. It is very difficult to draw the diagram for every step which is happening here in a complex case uh, and will consume a lot of time. So what I'll recommend is you do more insertions here. Let's say you want to insert now five. So five will be at root and these, these three will become right child of that and these will probably remain same or something like that. So you draw the diagram and go through play and insertion for a few more nodes. That's what I will recommend. Take it as an exercise and read the code of play left and play right. Okay. It will help you. Search is very simple. It is as simple as uh, traversing a binary search tree. So search is very simple. It is supposed to be at stop. So you play and after playing, if the root node is same as data, then it is there. Otherwise, it is not there. Deletion is first you play. So the node which you want to search is at the top and then you just delete it. It's very simple. And I'll put this code in the GitHub repository. These are helper uh, functions which you can go through. These are not essential for things. The, uh, for spreadsheet, these are for testing. I have tested only insertion, so I will recommend you to, to search, to test search and uh, removal. And uh, essentially, what I have not covered is uh, these cases of uh, uh, splaying and splay left and splay right. So go through these, and in case of a problem, let me know in the comment. And I'll try to explain. Maybe I will make another video if you have problems in understanding this. And I'll explain play right and play left. And maybe if you have real problems in understanding this, then I will do step by step diagram here and a PDF. And I'll show you. Uh, that can be a video, or if you contact me by mail, then uh, I can reply you on email. My name, my email, you can find either on the channel or on my website. So with this, uh, uh, I'll stop this video here, and I hope that you have found this video useful. And uh, so I'll see you in the next video. After this video, uh, I think I'll start uh, doing uh, probably multi array trees, that is uh, B trees, B plus tree, two tree tree, and so on. And uh, we'll see uh, where that leads. So thanks a lot for watching. Happy programming.